Ever wondered what the difference is between a circuit breaker and an isolator? Well, today, we'll explore that very question. Circuit breakers are devices designed to protect the electrical system from overloads or faults by interrupting the flow of electrical current in a circuit. Think of them as the vigilant watchmen of your power system, always on the lookout for danger. On the flip side, we have isolators or disconnect switches as they are sometimes called. These are designed to physically disconnect a part of the electrical system for maintenance or repair purposes. They are not built to interrupt the current under normal operating conditions, unlike circuit breakers. So, while they may seem similar, these two components have very different roles in a power system. Now that we have a basic understanding of what circuit breakers and isolators are, let's delve into their key differences. The primary differences between circuit breakers and isolators lie in their function and interrupting capacity. Circuit breakers are the superheroes of the electrical world, swooping in to interrupt the current flow during abnormal conditions like short circuits or overloads. They are designed to handle the large currents associated with these faults and quickly come back into action after clearing the issue. On the flip side, isolators are the unsung heroes quietly working behind the scenes. They are designed for manual isolation of equipment for maintenance without the ability to interrupt current flow. Their interrupting capacity is lower, reflecting their role to isolate equipment during normal maintenance conditions rather than in response to faults. So, while both play pivotal roles in an electrical system, their functions are distinct. Circuit breakers are all about protection, stepping in during an emergency, while isolators provide the safe space needed for regular maintenance and repairs. Apart from their functions, circuit breakers and isolators also differ in their operation and design. Delving into circuit breakers first, they house internal mechanisms that spring into action the moment a fault is detected. This swift response ensures that the contacts open up, interrupting the current flow almost instantly. Moreover, circuit breakers are like the marathon runners of the electrical world, designed to handle repeated operations. After clearing a fault, they automatically reset, ready to tackle the next one. On the flip side, isolators are the strong silent types. Their operation is based on physically disconnecting the circuit. Simpler in design compared to circuit breakers, they're manually operated, requiring a hands-on approach. And unlike the marathon running circuit breakers, isolators are more like sprinters. They're not intended for frequent operations. Instead, they come into play during planned maintenance, taking a breather until the next maintenance cycle rolls around. So, in essence, while both devices are critical in managing electrical circuits, their design and operation couldn't be more different. Circuit breakers are like vigilant sentinels, ever ready to react to faults and protect the system. Meanwhile, isolators are the reliable workhorses, stepping in to ensure safe maintenance practices. As we can see, the design and operation of these devices are as unique as their functions. Now, let's talk about where we can find these components within a power system. Circuit breakers are commonly found in substations and distribution systems. They're the unsung heroes, tirelessly protecting equipment and ensuring the reliability of the electrical grid. They're like the diligent security guards, always ready to step in when there's a fault, preventing any damage to the system. On the other hand, isolators are the strategic planners of the power system. They're strategically placed to allow safe maintenance and repair work on equipment without causing a disruption in the overall power supply. Think of them as the facilitators, making sure everything runs smoothly behind the scenes while maintenance is being carried out. So, circuit breakers and isolators, while having distinct roles, both contribute substantially to the safe and efficient operation of power systems. They're like the two sides of a coin, each with its unique function, but together they form a complete solution to safeguard our power systems. In conclusion, 
understanding the differences between circuit breakers and isolators is key to managing and maintaining a robust electrical infrastructure. We've learned that circuit breakers serve as protectors against faults, swiftly interrupting current flow during abnormalities. Conversely, isolators provide a safe pathway for necessary maintenance, physically disconnecting segments of the system. Always remember, these two components, though distinct, work hand in hand to ensure the safety and reliability of our power systems. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to for more informative content. Thanks for watching and until next time, stay electrified.